it's me, Mommy Ney! And me, the... Ney, hey, wait! Let's stop the line. Welcome back to the channel. I know. Ala ko, alam mo na eh. Hindi na subscribe to the channel. Tapos ka. Hi guys! Welcome again to another vlog. It's me, Mommy Ney! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Sabay, sabay. Okay na yun. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not uh, forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm here with my husband Don. So na meet niya siya sa aming previous vlogs. So kung di ka para papanood to, pakay panood na. Kasi <laughs> so yon. So siya yung una kong um, guest ng aking kanang may mga pag-guest pang nalalaman. Siya yung una kong guest nung um, nag-umpisa ang ating season 3. So today, isi-share namin yung mga tips namin ni Don kung paano namin um, na-achieve na talagang super malambing and hindi aggressive ang aming chow-chow na si Theodore. So, andito siya sa baba, guys. Say hi, mama! 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 Tayo mag-start! Comment of the week muna tayo. So, si Daddy Don ang magbabasa this week. Okay. So, from Trisha May Flores. Thank you for another informative video, Mami Nay. Hindi na po ako mabubudol. Hehehe. <laughs> Hoping you could make a video how you train Theo to socialize with people. My Bella is 3 months old. Most of the time, she's calm when other people touch her. Pero, minsan, uh, po, na, naangil po siya. I'm worried na maging aggressive siya pag lucky. Okay. So, yun nga, no? So, parang, kasi usually when you get a uh, chow-chow, parang ang una talagang perception sa kanila eh matapang, tapos uh, parang mahirap silang i-handle. Well, the only thing that I can assure you is super high maintenance po nila, pero they're trainable. Just as long as you, again, you start early. So, for me, ah, as a pet owner kasi, yung aggressiveness or aggression is a cumulative parang result of um, inconsistent routines and training. So, in short, ang solusyon ko lang naman for you na to have an aggressive chow-chow is to be consistent with your routine or yung talagang nakasanayan na ng puppy mo. And yun nga, number one doon, yung, or mga siguro top three doon, yung socialization sa ibang tao at sa ibang hayop. Pwede say, kaya ako siguro sinabing hayop Kasi talagang hindi lang sa dogs, talagang sa cats, sa birds, sa lahat. Ako ba? Hindi ba hayop? Tako din. Okay. So, ang first tip namin is, ayun, sa training. So, dad, may may input ka ba sa training natin kay Tio? Yes. Um, yung first day niya sa bahay, um, tinry na namin siyang i-train. We want to build trust muna. Mm. So, if your trust, so we're talking about socialization, if your dog trusts you, um, he will not have the need to protect you always. Or, he will feel safe around you. So, in short, we build trust and respect to be able to be consistent doon sa routine mo. Para sa'yo, kung di ka niya nire-respeto, hindi siya makikinig sa'yo. So, pag nasa loob ng bahay, hirap ka na, ano pa, what more sa labas. So, yun ang talagang kailangan mo i-build. Number two, Okay, so grooming um, time of the week or desensitizing your chow chow. So, um, na share ko na sa vlog na ito yung mga sensitive parts ng isang chow chow. So, kung hindi pa yun napapanood, panoorin yun na please naman. Dito ba lang? <laughs> so, we're here. Desensitizing. So, aside from the fact na yun nga may trust na kayo and all, um, Pag nabuild mo na kasi talaga yung trust is, hello, oh, hawakan mo siya. May feel na you don't mean any harm. So, kung masasanay yung aso mong hinahawakan, anywhere. kasi syempre hindi mo naman makakontrol yung mga tao sa labas. Nabigla na lang mga awak na ulo or mga awak ng tenga or ano. So, kung sanay yung part na yun ng katawan nila na nahahawakan, eh, low chances of them na maging, alam mo yun, um, mag-react. Important din na uh, ipag-groom mo sila sa professionals na yung mga grooming services sa mall or sa vet 
Kasi doon masasanay sila na hindi lang ikaw yung nag-handle. Ibang tao yun, so meaning, parang hindi mo lang sila tinuturuan mag-trust sa'yo, pero mag-trust sa tao per se. Alam mo yun, na ang tao, they don't mean harm. So, kaya magandang ine-expose mo talaga sila. Number three, exercising. So, for me, ito yung isa sa pinaka-importanteng activity na pwede mong gawin with your pets. Kahit anong pet, di lang chow-chow. That would make him healthy. And, mentally, uh, mentally and, and physically. physically. Yeah. Um, community yo, we go out at least twice a day uh, to do his party. Um, and, and walking and, and exercising walk. na. So, sabay-sabay na yun. And, and isa yun sa mga bagay na nagbibigay kay Theo ng calmness. Mm. Kasi kahit sino naman eh, kahit sino, kung nakatambay lang sa bahay buong araw and kumakain ng three times a day or two times a day, yung energy nila nandun lang sa katawan nila. Eh kung at least lumalabas kayo, um, na nawalk mo siya, nararun mo siya, pag niya, pagod siya, and then mag rest hindi siya yung full of energy na hindi siya yung so Yeah, especially, especially if you have a puppy. So, maraming energy talaga. Kasi they're growing, they have all, alam mo yung, hyper sila. So, to answer Trisha's question nga, no, na yung puppy pa lang, parang ano na, kasi kailangan mo ma-differentiate yung aggressiveness sa play-biting. So, feeling kasi nung iba, porket nangangagat, aggressive na yon. Tandaan po natin, there's no other way for them to express how they play but through their mouth, through their licking, their yung pang nagkaan sila ng paws. So, just make sure na hindi masakit. Normal talaga ang play-biting. Na-discuss na rin namin ito ni Don. Pero, um, ano okay, lang. Okay, vlog for that. Yeah, I do, I do. So, um, kailangan mo kailangan mo lang talaga i-establish yung okay we can play but ito yun especially kapag puppy nagngingipin talaga yan for ang um, solution talaga dito is you buy dog toys de ba para ma-divert niya kung bisa kamay mo hindi yan ito so yun lang yung solution mo sa play by day at the moment so yun be consistent also hindi yung paghalimbawa um, nakaupo kayo, tapos kinakagat ka na niya, tapos wala ka nang makitang iba, bibigay mo na lang yung trophy lo, or bibigay mo na lang yung chinelas mo. Parang, um, then again, hindi ka nagiging consistent, which is yun nga, yung, yun nga yung solution natin for your dog not to be aggressive. So, you have to be consistent. So, talaga mag -e effort ka to get a toy na para sa kanya. So, ang um, fourth namin na tip is socializing talaga. So, hindi lang yung socializing na nasa labas, ha? Um, kasi gets na natin yung nasa labas lang, diba? Mm -hmm. Pero, I'd, I'd like to point this out na everything starts at home. So, since Chow Chows are very protective with their, um, ter they're very territorial, then you have to stimulate that. Kailangan, kailangan na trigger yun minsan at sineset mo yung rules mo. So, paano ba yun? Magdala ka ng bisita. Kasi yung iba, pag may bisita, ina-isolate na lang yung aso. So, yung aso, mas nakakurious, di ba? So, let them interact starting at home. So, paano ba yung ginagawa? So, wag mo naman like, babe, bigla mo nalang papasukin yung ano, tapos mag invade sa space nyo. Um, ako ah, daddy, I don't know if you have to, if you agree. Before anything else, kapag may pumupuntang bisita, I make sure na i-interact with the guests first before ko i-introduce kay Theo. Like, Um, pagbukas ng pinto, like, hi! Yeah. Or ano, parang, parang makita niya, parang, since tinatrust ka niya, ay, si, oh, si mami, parang nag-hi siya. So, Ini friends sila. Oh. Friends sila. Like, hindi siya, hindi ka yung parang nagulat na, sino ka? Or parang, you, you, you have a, like, a positive energy towards the, your guest. Mm -hmm. So, siya, parang, So, I'm gonna be nice to this person because mommy's nice or dad's nice. Kasi even here, ay, tropa yan. Tropa yan. Exactly. Walang basta papasukan na casual lang. You have to recognize that he's there. Kailangan maramdaman din ng dog mo na may role siya sa bahay niyo. So, simple lang naman yun eh. Papasukan mo, paamoy-amoyin mo lang din sa guest. 
And then, sawayin mo pagka magaham. Oo, yun. Yeah. Yung, yung ma-excite. Kasi, syempre, itong, hi! Ganyan. Itong, like, they feed your energy. So, they're gonna be excited too and all. So, mm. yun. Importante yun. Kasi, kung hindi mo sasawayin yung bad habits niya, kasi mula pa lang, itutuloy-tuloy niya sa lahat. Yes, sa lahat guess. talaga. So, um, I, we have to be honest, hindi yun naging smooth for us. Sometimes din talaga, until now, pag may mm. guest kami, nangahump siya. Although, kasi nga, ano siya, di ba? Parang teenager siya at the moment. So, talaga. Pero first few, awesome. ano lang naman yun. First few minutes. Yeah, so, but so, let, them, lang, let them interact. And then, maya may wala na. No? Nakalakiga na lang yun. The whole time. So, yun. Yun yung mga four tips namin. So, next week, magkakaroon tayo ng part two ng socialization talaga outside. So, yung mga tips na pwede namin bigay sa inyo ni Don. So, yun. So, let's continue this thing okay. for next week. Bye!